I'm not going to lie to y'all. I just spent probably five minutes just sitting here thinking about what I want to talk about. Being popular was never my thing. And I don't think it's ever going to be my thing. I mean, if I get famous, I get famous, whatever. Girl, bye. Yeah. In high school, I was always the one person who I knew one person in every group. And that was okay. Move. Looking back on my journey in high school, I kind of just moved through high school. Like, I'm just trying to get my diploma and keep it moving. Um, I was in chorus and I love chorus. But I just want to speak on some things that I was too shy to speak on earlier in life i'm doing very well for myself and i am not the one to brag a lot of people that know me see that my closest friends they know i don't brag my husband he knows i don't brag i don't think that benefits me bragging on myself so i think that's why i'm not part of the popular clique and this is how i get to my topic of the video so I've noticed lately that a lot of people that I used to go to school with, um, some of them, when I was in school with them, I couldn't stand them because they were a part of the popular crowd when it came to belittling and demeaning people. And I don't understand why that's a thing. I don't understand why people think that's okay. I'm a weird girl. I'm okay with that. And so was my husband. But I think more of there's just this image that people place on popular people where you have to be rude you have to you know be who you are and you just have to whatever and whatever and i to this day never understood that i didn't really have the best positive high school experience and we're here because i just want to say that just because you don't follow the same path as that person you went to high school with doesn't mean that you're any different just because you weren't popular just just because you didn't know everybody just just because you weren't in all the clubs after school activities does not mean that you're any less worthy or any less different than those people i was in chorus i love my time in chorus because i love to sing we took trips and it was just it was a it was a really nice experience but i didn't like it because i felt like there were clicks in the chorus club and i'm just like how is it clicks when it's just one group of people who are singing for the same school together i was Oh, I hated it. That's the only reason I like chorus. Aside from that, it was one of the best experiences in my life, period. I got to go to New York. I had such an amazing experience in chorus, but the worst part was just finding where I fit in. And over time, I realized that I don't need nowhere to fit in. I'm going to sit over here on the corner in my phone and I'm going to chill and I'm going to do me and I'm going to be me because that's who I am. I have a really small group of friends. I have maybe five they're my best friends and they know me inside out and you know they see me for the person that I am and that's amazing to me that I have close friends that know my worth as a person so that's why over time I know things kind of come on their own but I just never understood how people can just act like they're better than people you know and people work hard for where they are you know some people do it in a different path and some people do it in you know a different time and that's okay just like the same thing that i can't stand what i'm seeing on tiktok and instagram is where women basically are bashing other women because they want to have kids they want to have a family and i'm not gonna say their life is on hold but they're tended to their family first they didn't get to go to school they didn't get to have the best job they gotta be a stay-at-home mom and that's fine if that's the path that you chose that's fine they have a family they have a husband you know everybody's life is different but the people that are judging them are the ones that are single you know the ones that you know aren't in school who are like oh my god i'm 25 with no kids you know i can't relate i just think that's really disrespectful now me like i said i'm young i'm married i want a family in the future absolutely and i have a great job i'm doing great for myself and owning a home is not for the fate because let me tell you boo boo one day our connection box outside went out for electricity it was not cheap y'all it was not cheap to get it fixed so you really got to be have yourself together to own a home. Don't just buy it just, you know, because it's cheap because it is cheaper. But let me tell you, there's maintenance. You got to, you know, tend to the walls. You got to clean, you know, 
you gotta replace doors you gotta replace sh chandeliers you gotta put everything there is a whole process to owning a home and i understand that people don't want that responsibility that's fine and i you know i'm proud of the people who are young and you know got their business going because this is the this is the generation for people to have their own businesses and some people are doing very well at it but why knock other people who want to live a different path i just never understood that and that's why i probably am gonna stay off of tiktok I like TikTok for like black girl magic and locks and, you know, mommy hacks just to see, you know, how it'll be like in the future. But then I see stuff like that and I'm like, that's why I don't want to be on social media. That's why I just, it was just really frustrating to me to see that people really out here judging people and thinking differently of people because they want to live a different path in their life. And that's okay. You know, but I really had to speak on that because it just really kind of got my heart in a twinge because it's not, it's not fair to the people who didn't choose that path, but that path chose them. That's not fair to them to feel like they're being judged because they're having, they having a kid instead of owning their own business, owning their own home. If you're doing it first, that's okay. You know, if you want to bring the family later down the road when you're more established, that's a plan too. But if you want to start the family first and then bring them, uh, bring in the business down the road, you can do that too. Because I'm going to tell you a quote, life is not a race. It's a journey. I just think, I know it's, you know, freedom of speech and all this and all that, but I feel like some things just shouldn't be said. So on that note, I think I'm gonna leave y'all with that tidbit of tea and I appreciate y'all for coming here and check it out. I definitely will be posting more about stuff like this because I really felt like I had to talk about it. So I hope you ha guys have a good Wednesday. <laughs>